Hello everyone, I'm Para from Bexkit and today I'm going to show you how to clone a template from Bexa Builder to quick start your DAP development. Let's start. First of all, we need to navigate into bexabuilder.bexkit.com. Now you are there, you need to connect your wallet clicking in the top right menu here in the connect wallet button you will see a model loading for you your wallet will appear here if you don't have any web3 wallet you can use an email and create one by connecting right with email we will use metamask for this purpose once we are here we need to go to the View Templates button. Just click on it if you want to start with templates or build my app if you want to start from zero. Let's click on View Templates. Those are the templates that we are about to use. All of these are created by Dexkit and you can use any of those templates to quick start your project. What about if I want to create a DEX aggregator or a swap platform where all my clients, even myself, can trade cheap without paying gas fees on some networks and uh, getting the lowest Leslie patch? We can create a mild chain dex aggregator starting from this one or for any of those ones because at least three of these templates are dex aggregators. Let's give it a look to this one. You can see this is a simple dex aggregator page. It has a component where you can connect to the optimism network in this case because the the token or the give token is hosted on optimism and this is a branded dex aggregator for giveth in this case we are just enabling the optimism network but you can enable all the networks you want okay in this case we have the dex aggregator here now we need to give a look about how we are going to deploy this. Let's click here on close and let's give it a look into the product. We click here inside the product and we can see a description for a minute. Branded multi-chain DEX aggregator. By deploying this DAP, the user will be able to promote their personalized token or any available on the integrated networks and earn customizable commissions for each exchange of their clients. The DEX aggregator is connected to Zero X decentralized liquidity, therefore its clients will enjoy the lowest Leslie patch and gas optimizations. How to configure this product? Okay, uh, let's say we are about to clone this product. We can start cloning from this button or we can start cloning from this button. Let's make it from here. Okay, we need now to connect to our wallet by signing a digital signature. Sign in and you are in. Now we are here, we need to put the name for our app. This name will be the domain name. This will be the CEO name. The CEO name will be configured later, but for this purpose, we need the domain name. Let's start with this one. In the email section, you will need to use a real email because we are about to send you a message to verify your email. In this case, we will know that this is a real app operated by a real person. We have everything here set. Let's click on create. You see 
this was super quick you just need to click on view up and you will be redirected to the management section now let's give a look to the DAP on production let's click on open URL okay as you can see we have the tokenland.textkit.app with all the emblems and logos from the Ugibeth project we need, just need here to modify and make it worthy for our project let's start here first of all we need to change the logos we have the logo for the light mode we will use this logo and the logo for the dark mode we will use this logo how to trigger those modes well you just need to click here in the settings on the top menu and trigger the black and the light mode you can change here the width and the height for the desktop logo and the width and the height for the mobile logo so let's change the pad icon for the same one that we are using here you can select among those languages English, Portuguese, Espanol, Dutch, Francois, Italiano, Norse and Cestina and you can also choose the default currency being dollar, peso, Brazilian real, Chilean peso, Cesc Corona, Euro among others so we will leave this as it is and we will click on save once we have this field let's proceed to other sections of our page now let's go to the layout section let's click on pages and you can see that pages home that is the main page it only has a swap component the swap component is this one but we need to modify it to make it more powerful and enable for more networks how we are doing this well you just need to go to data networks and add network let's add all the main nets let's start with polygon pulse chain base you can also add test nets if you are going to deploy contracts because we prefer that you test your contracts before deploying on mainnet so testing the best way for testing is using test nets choose any one of these ones and start your tests with the test net now we choose all the networks we click on save it we see all the networks added here we click on save again and now our aggregator is enabled for more net okay now you can see all the networks enabled we save it now let's go to the token section there on data and let's check here all the default tokens that they get put in here for us to save us time those are the main tokens we click on save and we can also import custom tokens let's import the deskit token on polygon what we do we choose the network we can put here the contract or we can just look for the token here in the first blank space search token section we put the name and we choose the polygon desk it will fill all the blanks by itself and you just need to click on import and make it tradable save again and now we will have this token enabled also in our swap platform how this token can be discovered from here 
we can try another one. Let's try Pax Gold. You can see that Pax Gold that represents the price index of the gold ounce is enabled here for Ethereum. We can click on it and we can import it as well. We put it on tradable. We click on save and we have now the Paxos Gold token enabled for Ethereum network in our DEX aggregator. We can add all the tokens we want. If we cannot find the token here, we can just put the contract, the name, the symbol, and the image for the token, the tokens that these search queries are from CoinGecko API. So if your token is not listed there, you won't be able to find it here. So do what just I told you, fill all those blanks and import your customized token here. Now you finished. Let's click on save here. We save the configuration. And now we can work on the CEO. What's the CEO? The CEO is a very important part of your application because it will identify your DAP among all the websites and the applications and it will help your DAP to be looked or queried by the search engines. So what's the name of our DAP? We are using Tokenland. So let's put here Tokenland. And here we can put trade the most popular and not so popular tokens seamlessly without slippage. Okay, now we change the share image. This image will appear when you share your that link. We save. Another interesting thing is that you can use AI here for computation. You click on here. If you don't have credits, you can buy credits. Clicking on Add Credits, starting from $5, you can use 5, 10, 20. You can see here five is the max. So let's choose five and we will choose to pay with cryptocurrency. Click on add and it will open a model for payment. You can see that with five dollars USDC or another stable coins, you can use Ethereum, USDC on Ethereum, you can use Tether or USDC on Polygon, you can use USDT or USDC on Smart Chain or other networks. Now you are finished here, you click on charge or buoy the credits and you will be able to count with credits to use the AI completion assistant. This is not necessary, this is just a help for people that is working on projects and needs help to write, needs help to cover some things that cannot do by itself. So we are not using it here, because I wanted to show it you. We save it, we can save again just for the doubts. And now let's give it a look to our website. Dated, and you can see that some things have changed here. It changed the logo. It changed the networks. Now we can trade on those networks, but we can see that still, we have still here the top menu of the last application. And we have the default token of the last application and even the colors. So we need to change top menu default token and colors. How to do this? Yeah, we will go to here 
let's change the colors we click on the same layout section theme and we can click here on the default colors we will have a, some color combination or we can choose some colors for ourselves in this case we can use other colors to differ let me try to drop some colors here from the logo let's use this orange as the main color let's use this green as a secondary color you can change the background color too you can change also the paper color and you can also change the text color but in this case it looks great as it is so we will keep it on black okay we change the primary the secondary color and you can use also this advanced section to modify the border radius for this component and we can also change the success the error the info and the warning colors we will keep it as it is we will close here and by the final part here in the customization we can change the font for any Google font let's use this one we are hosting at least 200 or 300 fonts I think it's even more so customization is wider we save after picking all our selections you can click here and see how our swap platform will look this will look like this yes let's wait for some seconds until the platform is on production we can reload again we see that the color didn't change yet but let's try to change the things that we are now about to change let's change now the top menu we come back to the management section we go back to the layout and we click on the nav bar we see that we have a home mint giver and wallet this both home and wallet we will keep those so we will the lead giver we will save it and now we just have home and wallet I see that we can put icons for any page click on the image and choose the proper icon or the icon you just want to use for this purpose let's choose a home here choose a wallet here this one we save and now this section is ready let's keep doing modifications now we need to change the default token here that is it let's go back let's go to pages let's go to swap and click on the pencil inside the component swap component click here you can see the default network of this product let's use ethereum as default network let's use here a, another coin let's use text kit as default token it's here but in this case we need to use polygon as default network to show in the first instance the swap component with the pair we are allowing to sell that in this case is text kit for usdc on polygon you can save here and edit it didn't change yet but we just need to wait you can also use guestless swaps 
your clients will be able also to use it no matter what if you tick or not on here. This is just to activate the gasless swaps by default. If you don't want to do it, you can untick it and let your clients decide. You can also show only tokens, your tokens on the search because you can create your own token hub and use this application as token hub or token marketplace. So you can whitelist the tokens you want, you can uh, have your own client list, uh, legit tokens or RWA tokens or DFI tokens, all the tokens you want. If you just want to show those tokens in your branded aggregator, just click on here and it won't be able to trade another tokens in your DAP, just only the ones you choose. So let's keep it in this way. Let's click on save, save again, and we should wait until all the changes we just sent are in production. This will take a few minutes. We can go back to the application and reload it. And now you can see that all the changes we made are done. We have the top menu with the icons. We have the, con the model with the colors. We have the black node working properly. And we just need to connect the wallet to test how is this about. Click on connect wallet, click on MetaMask, choose your account. Now we can see that our application is now ready. The default tokens are kit as we selected before and USDC pair. We have the logo, we have the top menu and we can see that we still have to change this one from Giveth. That is the footer link. We can go back here and go to layout folder menu. Check that. This is a external link. You can choose pages, a menu, or external link as we did here with Gibet. We just click on delete here and we click on save because we are not adding anything here. So let's try with a menu better. With a menu. We here. We create the icon for this menu. We save and we wait a little until everything is in production. It can take one minute or less. Let's try to refresh again to see you know, changes are there. Let's go back and see what other thing we need to change. For the moment, we can change also the social media. The default social media here is for Dexkit. So we go back to the app builder setup, settings section social media tab and you can choose your instagram your twitter or x your youtube channel your linkedin company if you are a company facebook facebook pages your link for reddit and add custom links as well for another social media as far caster medium etc add as much you want. You can add an image or a logo for the social media, the name and your link for it. Let's delete all those ones. We will keep clear here because this is a test project. We don't have any social media for this. So uh, let's keep it in this way. 
And let's see what other things we need to change. At the moment, we can reload again until this thing does its magic. Oh, I see that we have the menu. It goes straight to the menu, clicking on it. And we don't have now the social media links. So this is all. Now you can deploy your own DEX aggregator free and starting with a template. You don't need to do many work of design. You don't need to do many work on writing contracts or creating components. DexKit allows you to create any DAP for free and seamlessly. Zero code, no hassle, and a lot of fun. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you like it. Bye-bye.